Hello for everyone, it's Kaloha back with another video. Today's video is just gonna be a Q&A of some questions that we told I told you guys to ask on my Instagram story that I posted of about like a few days ago so yeah we have all the questions here and we're just gonna go through them and hopefully you guys take something out of the answers that i'm about to give you according to the questions i hope you guys enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and let's get straight into it the first question is what advice or tips do you have for others going through their healing process as well i would tell you guys to definitely dive into the word of god it may sound tiring and everything like that but you don't have to like sit there and open up your bible and read page to page to page it sounds tedious what you can do is you can implement little things into your daily routine that can really help you and benefit you through your walk um, of faith one of them being like reading or podcasts or just having the verse of the day pop up on your wallpaper your lock screen every day those things those little things can add up and can really help you with your spiritual journey with your journey through faith with your healing process a lot of people say that faith is a factor to your healing however nobody really understands how to implement it into your journey and those are some tips that you can do to um, implement that in your daily routine another thing that i would recommend is therapy i actually did start therapy like a few months ago and honestly it's helped a lot talking to someone who's a licensed professional in that field can definitely give you a better understanding of your emotions why you have anxiety why you have depression their job is to basically get to the root of why you feel or act these certain ways trained in that area so it's not like they don't know what they're doing they they know exactly what they're doing so i would definitely recommend that i would recommend journaling i journal a lot like so much i just needed to get my hand on a book because writing it on my phone wasn't really doing me justice it didn't really feel like i was getting anything out anybody can go on social media and type something on a post and send it out so like in that sense having a digital journal wasn't really helping me at all so i would recommend those things you know read your bible pray listen to podcasts listen to worship worship songs get a therapist start journaling just those small things just knowing that you're in a journey just knowing that you're proceeding to want to um change want growth in your life that in itself is therapeutic and i highly highly recommend doing whatever you can to be at peace with yourself you know let go of the bad people my circle has become extremely small because i have let go of so many people that i knew i didn't need but wanted in my life and then once i let go of them then i started to feel more at peace with myself with that being said i'm going to show you like a few things that i love to use on a daily basis things that have helped me with my process of healing the first thing being my bible this is actually the first bible that i purchased with my own money so it means so much to me i have like tons of notes and stuff like that just because i try to implement the bible in my daily routine every single time i do fall i'm not gonna lie and say that i read my bible every day because i don't but i'm getting better and i mean starting with the um, book of proverbs and just reading a proverb a day and that will really help you to expand your knowledge and wisdom of the bible definitely go check this out this is the holy bible king james version reference edition by hendrickson bibles i absolutely love it it's small you can take it anywhere this is a king james version so i don't know if it's like complicated for some people to understand but if it is i recommend this bible <laughs> 
if this is the new king james version but this is a study bible this is called the jeremiah study bible by dr david jeremiah and i highly recommend this bible as well it has the bible verses on top that was my pen that just fell it has the bible verses on top and then at the bottom you can see like this this line that goes across and then at the bottom it has like an explanation of the different chapters and their um verses and stuff like that so it really helps for you to understand the word of god in a more in-depth kind of way i'll also link some podcasts down below i'm currently listening to sadie robertson and let me tell you she's like amazing y'all like you guys really need to listen to her these are tips that are helping me in my healing process so i'm sharing them with you in hopes that they will help you in your healing process the next question is what is it like being able to live on your own having your own space paying your own bills etc it's definitely a blessing i would not have this apartment if i did not have god god is the worker of all miracles in my life and i definitely owe it to him being on my own is amazing i love having my own space bills are always going to be something that you don't look forward to every month but you know in order to maintain the space of the space that you want to grow in you need to have some kind of work towards it do you plan on staying here in american samoa maybe moving off island why or why not now my parents can attest to this and i do not want to leave this island ever this is my home y'all this is where I want to stay for the rest of my life I'm making a reputation for myself here and i just don't feel the need to leave like i can do everything i want to do here you have to make the most of where you want to stay at and this is where i want to stay at so i'm about to make the most out of it y'all keep me accountable these videos are supposed to keep me accountable so you guys are probably you guys are going to see tons and tons of videos here we're gonna make the most out of living here y'all as a Christian woman, what do you struggle with the most? I think I struggle the most with, I mean, as Christians, we struggle with a lot of things. We have different challenges in life. However, the thing that I struggle with the most is consistency and fellowship, I think. Um, the Bible says not to neglect the fellowship. However, I'm kind of, I'm like the person who likes to stay at home. Like, I don't like to go anywhere. I like staying at home in my own space. I like doing my own things. And so that's kind of like a challenge for me. The work in progress, y'all. This channel is all about growth. So we're about to see some growth, you know. What do you hope to achieve in 2020? I have already started on my New Year's resolutions and I'm determined to stick by them because again these videos are <laughs> keeping me accountable certainly hope to achieve a lot of things but i think the main things that i hope to achieve is financial freedom um business growth individual growth um growth as a partner in a relationship couples relationship spiritual growth definitely but then i have this last question um I get this all the time and it's Celine if you're watching this stop <laughs> but she said when is the wedding and the wedding is not anytime soon we're still working on on us ourselves as individuals we're still working um on ourselves as a couple so yeah only god would tell us when our our day is i hope you guys enjoyed this little q a be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to look out for more videos oh okay i'm gonna be doing vlogmas if you guys don't know what vlogmas is it's like every day leading up to christmas where you post a video my goal for this vlogmas is to support small businesses owned by polynesians so if you do have a polynesian business that you want to get out there be sure to list it down in the comments and i will check them out it can be like from food to clothing to anything y'all thank you guys for watching i love you guys all in the powerful name of jesus christ see you guys next video bye Oh, oh, oh.